The city of Dallas is getting ready to launch a program that will wipe out graffiti, they say. It's an epidemic. It's spreading all over the city. Well, it lowers property values. Some of it's gang-related, so gangs communicate this way, and it just looks ugly. The city of Dallas received around 1,700 complaints of graffiti last year. Give us permission. We'll send volunteers in there, and we'll provide all the supplies, and we'll paint over it. The city is planning for 500 volunteers and will have up to $40,000 in paint and supplies donated. The goal is not only to clean up the city, but to discourage taggers. You know, you kind of like want to catch them and cut their fingers off or tie them up and marker all over them, you know, <laughs> make them the wall for the graffiti artists. And if you want graffiti taken off of your home or business, all you have to do is go to DallasCityHall.com and fill out the consent form. The deadline is May 8th. My name is Craig. Area 51 is my crew located in Dallas, Texas. What is graffiti? Well, there's different kinds for sure. You have your legal graffiti. It's the stuff you see all around Bishop Arts, Design District, Deep Ellum. Uh, it's, it's a uh, Walls you get paid to to paint. Then you have the fabrication. The fabrication is a wall intended to keep those out of trouble. And it's kind of like a playground. It's where people can go and uh, do graffiti and not get in trouble. And then you have street graffiti, which is you know. Raunchy. It's the stuff you can't read. It's the stuff that uh, you know takes takes balls to do. You are either risking your freedom or your life. That's street graffiti. So if I'm saying that, if I could define graffiti, I mean, I would say most people, when they think of graffiti, they, you know, tie it into, like, kind of hip-hop or, you know, just chasing the street, you know, but, I mean, graffiti in itself, I feel is just the act of it and the term predates that culture and whatnot, you know, so it's like, to me, it's more of like, uh, not to be cliche or anything, but just defiance, defiance against uh, whatever the hell, you know, uh, the person doing it is uh, doing it under, I guess, if that makes sense. You know, because all graffiti doesn't just have to be your name or whatever the hell, you know, it could be uh, just something, you know, a political message or whatever the hell, you know. To a regular civilian, it's obviously vandalism. To people that do graffiti, it's it's more of a, it's a metal, a trophy, depending on on where you paint. Obviously, if you go down the street and just write your name everywhere, then it's, it's you accumulating a reputation. Once you get to painting walls illegally, then it's, it's where you start earning points, you start earning uh, somewhat of a fame. Dallas graffiti culture right now, I feel it's like this dope, you know what I mean? I feel myself that I've always been, uh, you know, aware of it, you know, growing up as a kid and stuff. And, I mean, you know, just seeing the, the writers and stuff that, you know, existed or uh, were up before, you know, I even came into the scene. Dallas graffiti culture, it's, it's, it's alive, you know, and I feel right now it's, 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 it's picking up nice. You know, we got, like, a lot of pretty cool uh, writers out there pushing what I feel are, like, you know, the limits or uh, boundaries that have been, you know, uh, reached the board. Uh, so I feel right now, you know, it's, again, it's just alive, you know, and it's, it's only picking up, I feel. Don't put up your time, hands out! You think you're funny, don't you? Shut up. How do people react to my graffiti? I'm pretty sure they fucking hate it. I'm 
gonna run your ass over you and shut up. Yeah, for sure, people hate, hate to see it. Um, and then you have, you know, people that that see it and are like, oh man, that's awesome. Like, how, how'd they do that? You know, it interests them. And it's like, they want to know how that's done. And once they know, they're like, oh man, you are just crazy. Like, I would never do that. So everybody, you know, just has their own uh, reasons for doing it. I don't feel like, you know, two writers or whatever uh, have, like, the same reason for doing it as each other. So it's hard to explain that. But, I mean, me, you know, I just do it uh, for the fulfillment in it, you know, and fucking uh, catching a fucking dope-ass spot, you know. I don't know. It's an escape from everyday life, your job, your your household, bills you have to pay, uh, just, you know, just everything that could go wrong in life doesn't really matter when you're painting your name. Oh man, if I get caught, like, I lose everything, you know, like, I don't plan on getting caught, uh, or you never seen consequences and shit, uh, I haven't got in trouble, I haven't got caught, and I don't plan on it. I mean, it's definitely worth it, you know, just, just, uh, <laughs> so long as you don't get caught and shit, but, I mean, no, otherwise, you know, I wouldn't be doing it. At some point, yeah, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't want to, like, give graffiti everything, you know, just because, you know, you can love it, but it won't love you back type shit, I guess. Not to sound corny, but, um, I mean, I, I try to get it, you know, in, like, you know, real life, and, you know, I encourage everybody else to try to get it, too. If I break my arm, for sure, I'm going to stop it, you know, but then I'll have to stop doing a lot of things. But as far as my will to stop uh, actually doing graffiti, I don't think I'm ever slowing down. It's just, it's just a part of who I am and uh, what I do. I mean, can't have one without the other. And I, I think I'd be, I'd be really lost if I didn't have graffiti in my life. I don't think graffiti is going anywhere ever, you know, you had cavemen scratching up walls, it's, it's here to stay, especially here in Dallas, you got a bunch of new kids coming in to the game, a bunch of people who have been in the game for a while, they're still out here doing it, you know, uh, yeah, it's, it's not stopping anytime soon.